this video tutorial I will explain Spring Boot Batch Service. Spring Patch is the lightweight patch framework which can be used by enterprise systems to develop robust patch applications for the daily operations. Usually, patchwork we will do at the night when users don't use the system. Batch processing includes tasks like reading files, writing files, transforming data, reading from database, writing to the database, create reports, import and export data, and things like that. The steps like reading data from the file, transforming the data, and write the data in the database, and these steps can be chained together. And for that, we have to write complex workflows where we can define which steps can run parallel, and which steps can run sequentially etc and this kind of workflows are internally supported by spring patch so we can use spring patch spring boot patch provides reusable functions that are essential in processing large volumes of records including logging and tracing transaction management job processing statistics job restart skip and resource management here you can see the different components of batch service, job repository, job launcher, job and step. One job can have multiple steps. Each step have reader and writer. Both reader and writer are compulsory and optional processor unit. A step is a fundamental unit of any job. Step is a domain object that encapsulates an independent sequential phase of a batch job. A step defines necessary information to define and control the actual batch processing. Item reader is responsible for provides input data to the step. The data read by item reader can be passed to item processor and item processor is responsible for transform the data and Send the transform data for writing. Item writer is the output of a step. The writer writes one patch of items at a time to the target system. Next, we will see the example of batch service. Here you can see the CSV file and it has employee details name, age, and salary. And item reader read the CSV file and pass the csv file data to the item processor and item processor transform the data if needed and send the transform data to the item writer and item writer persists the data in the database and after job completed job completion notification listener will be called here you can see org db and it has employee table and employee table has four columns id name age and salary and currently it does not have any records here you can see spring boot demo application with folder structure here you can see the pom.xml file here i have included the dependency of spring boot starter patch Here you can see employee.csv file. And it has employee details. Name, age and salary. Here you can see application.properties file. Here I have defined a driver class name, URL of the database, username and password of the database. Using this information, the Spring Boot application makes connection to the MySQL database. Here I have defined the class employee. It has four properties ID, name, age, and salary. Here I have defined the class batch configuration. 
it is a configuration class and in this class i have applied enable batch processing annotation which enable batch operation on your spring boot application here i have defined job builder factory step builder factory and data source all these objects will be auto wired by spring boot application here you can see reader method and in this method using a flat file item reader i am reading the data from employee.csv file and mapping the data to the employee class and finally it returns the flat file reader next you can see processor method and in this method i am creating a object of a employee item processor and returns that here i have defined a class employee item processor which implements item processor interface and provide implementation of process method in this method we can write logic to transform the data here what i am doing is i am getting the employee name and convert to upper case and here i am getting the transformed person and returning the transformed person next you can see writer method and this method is responsible for writing the transformed data to the database and this method returns jdbc batch item writer here you can see two more methods import employee job which accept job completion notification listener and step 1 method we will see these methods in detail this method defines the job and this method defines the single step and jobs are built from steps and each steps involve reader processor and writer in job we have to use incrementer because jobs use database to maintain execution state and in job we have to list each step and in this case only one step is there and at the end of job job completion notification listener will be invoked in step definition we have to define how much data to write at a time in this case it writes up to four records at a time and also we have to configure reader processor and writer here i have defined a class job completion notification listener which is a component and it extends job execution listener support and override after job method which accept job execution and in this method from job execution object i am getting status if status is completed i am printing job is finished and once status is completed the employee table will have records and each record i am taking from employee table and formulating the employee object and printing the employee object one by one which is there in the employee table here i have defined a class application which is spring boot application i am starting this spring boot application
So, whatever records are there in CSV file, now it is there in the employee table. And related to job execution, some tables are created by Spring Boot. Stop the server. Next, uh, empty the employee table content. Here I have defined a class uh, job invoker controller which is a rest controller and it has a handle method to call this method we have to send request to this path when this method is invoked the badge job will be executed and the badge job name is import employee job what it will do is it reads the csv file content which has employee information and insert the data in the employee table by default, Spring Boot runs all the job as soon as it has started its context. And if you want to disable, then we can define this property. Spring Batch job enable should be false. And then we can invoke the batch job manually by sending request to this path. Now I am going to start the Spring Boot application. The Spring Boot application is started. And I am checking the employee table. And it does not have any records. Using Postman client, I am going to send a request to Spring Boot application to invoke the bad job. And here is the URL. Click on send and here you can see bad job has been invoked. Here you can see the output. The CSV file content is read and it has been inserted into employee table. Click on refresh and here you can see. The employee records are created in employee table. You can get uh, Java source code link from the description of the video. In mobile, to see the description, click on uh, this icon. It will expand like this and uh, here you can see the description. It contains uh, Java source code links. Click on these links to get the Java source code. 